Okay, now you have roots in Pakistan as well. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you want to tell us where they are and what your background is in Pakistan? Well, I'm <laughs> my my father and my mother, the both of my grandfather, my, my you know forefathers, they're all from Pakistan. They are basically they, my father was born in Peshawar, my grandfather was born in Peshawar, my mother's from Lahore, her father was from Lahore. So we all are from Pakistan, and during partition we came here. Well, why never come to Pakistan, considering how big you are over there? No, I was. Uh, your roots. Well, I, there was one incident where I was supposed to come. One of my friends was supposed to get, was getting married, who uh, and then suddenly I was booked in a hotel and there was a lot of UN cry uh, and uh, you know they uh, this, you know they said not for me not to come that uh, the security point of view I shouldn't come. This is many many years back, but now I hear it's it's you know like I'm, a lot of actors have gone there, a lot of friends of mine have gone there and they feel it's completely safe for me to be there. So I would love to come there. All right. Um, considering, and this is also about coming there, but perhaps coming there in a different way than just attending a wedding. Um, considering the iconic status you have, considering the platform you enjoy, uh, do you ever have you ever thought? Have you ever considered of perhaps campaigning for peace? Perhaps campaigning for the opening up of movies? Perhaps campaigning for some sort of reform? I, I, I feel between uh, you know, Pakistan I, I, I and India. I would be very selfish. To say that I would come only to opening of movies, I think it's such a very small. It's a very no, no. You see, the, uh, what I meant was the opening up of Indian movies in Pakistan. No, I would come releasing for, of Indian no, movies. I would in come Pakistan. there to open up many many things, a lot of avenues. There's 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 culture, there's values, there are friends, there is movies, there's business, there's politics, there is science. I would like Indian Pakistan to open up to everything. But have you ever thought about actually doing it, about actually getting on board with that? No, I, Considering own, the status you enjoy? In, in my own small way, whenever I meet anybody, whenever I travel all over the world, that's what I try to do. But I'm talking about specifically about Pakistan. I would love to be there. I would come there tomorrow. We have to take a short break here. We're with Anil Kapoor on Talk Back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Talk Back. We are with Anil Kapoor. Why do you think Indian actors are so depoliticized? Why well, most Indian actors, as far as Bollywood is concerned, this is a very unfortunate matter of fact. It's very very unfortunate because I admire people who are in Hollywood who take a stand. In India, definitely actors really don't take a stand. You do not. I I I I accept it. I accept it very very. I feel it's not. They don't take a stand. They ask. They are they are always on a fence. And uh, they 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 not really take a stand. They not they don't they don't want to belong to any individual. They don't support an individual. Very who's in a particular political party, but it's just, it's it's unfortunate. But yes, of course, we must learn from uh, from the uh, from the Americans. I agree with them that there are. But why do you stars. think that is? Why why are they on a fence? I think it's because. I mean, there's so much. I, I, there's so I, many stands to take in India. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm telling you, I'm being very honest about it. And uh, 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 you know, I, and I, I think, how do I say it? You know, I, there must be. I must. There must. I must go deep into it and see why we don't do it. Is it? Is it perhaps? And there are times when they really do it. They do it. You know, do it till for a you know, uh, for some time, and then completely forget about it. So if they want to do it, then they must do it till the end. Deliver. Deliver till the end, till their death. But this is the thing. Considering I've been here in Mumbai a couple of weeks, and one thing which I cannot avoid is the mass and pervasive consumerism which in which Bollywood and marketing have melded together. Absolutely. From chocolates to washing machines to microwave ovens to cell phones to insurance to name it. There's some Bollywood star, man or woman, selling something. Now, if there's if they so easily adapt to marketing, if they see, so easily adapt to what is called in the free world as capitalism, then why can't they take a stand in, in, in politics? Why? How can they find free markets so easy to work with and not politics? See, I'm, not, I'm not the right person to answer this because, first of all, I've never endorsed a product till today in my entire career. So you can say in that way I'm, I'm not a capitalist because my children also say that you, I've been a fool and my bank balance would have been really, uh, you know, much, much <laughs> bigger than what it is. Until today, I'm the only actor 
uh, one of the actors, because after Dilip Kumar, Devanand and Raj Kapoor, I'm the only person, really, a mainstream star who has never ever endorsed a film, endorsed a product. And uh, they, they, they say that I've been very foolish. Uh, my children feel I'm a foolish. Are you taking a stand? Sorry? Are you taking a stand? Is no, that I just, why? It's not a stand. I just felt that these great guys never did this. Why should I do it? It's like that. It's foolish. Stupid. But you So know, you are taking a stand? In a way, yes, in effect. I'm not going to take any names, but I guess we all know who these guys are. They have a pervasive presence as far as the platform and the landscape of India is concerned. Everything is being sold by just a couple of people here and there. Yeah. Is this fair? Is this ethical? Is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's fair or unethical, but yes, of course, yeah, they're, you know, like, they're making a lot of money. I have not made any are money. These, okay, are these so guys think, assets? I, 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 uh, sorry? Are these guys assets or are they artists? Or is there no line anymore between them? See, I'm, see, it'll be unfair for me to comment on them, you know, because, you know, unless you're there in the sh their shoes, to, I'm not being diplomatic, but... But you've taken the other side. I've taken if the they're other on the left, you're on the right. But they're known as the intelligent people, I'm known as a fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, finally, I'm going to end on this note. This is an article you yourself penned uh, in a newspaper, and you were talking about spirituality. And this is a quote from you. Once the question of life and death have been answered, and material existence has unraveled its many mysteries, man seeks something beyond that search is the search for spirituality like a snake that sheds its skin i go through the various phases of my life growing learning developing with each change am i spiritual i don't know but i do believe i'm on the path to positive thinking absolutely perfect thanks for reminding me <laughs> anil kapoor thanks for coming on talk back thanks for talking back pleasure being here appreciate your time this was Anil Kapoor from the heart of Mumbai in Juhu uh, in Talkback on this very special series of Talkback's Eye of India. We hope you enjoyed it. Email us at talkback at dawnnews.tv. Your views are important to us. That's it from me, Vijayat Saif Khan, and the rest of the Talkback team. Take care.